everyone so from today we shall start our uh, videos all right the content for Meghalaya teachers eligibility test so this is the very first video and I am starting with paper one all right so the first subject I have chosen here is child development and pedagogy and this will be for 30 marks altogether right so there are different units and yes to remind you that I will be going strictly with the syllabus so you should keep the syllabus with you handy right as we discuss the topics one by one all right so let us see what we have all right so first of all we shall be discussing unit one all right so in unit one we have understanding development and this is for five marks right in understanding development we have concept of development development is continuous and a lifelong process then we have development is a uh, yes then we have stages of development with respect from infancy to childhood stage right then we have development of children in a socio-cultural context so here under the heading understanding development or unit we have four subunits that is concept of development development is a continuous and a lifelong process stages of development with respect from infancy to childhood stage and development of children in a socio-cultural context right so here comes the very first sub topic that is concept of development now what we have to do is that first of all we have to understand what do we mean by the term development what do we understand by the term development so development refers to what the systematic change all right this is a systematic change which leads an individual from dependence to independence or autonomy throughout his life that is from womb to tomb so which means that development starts from the womb and it ends only when an individual dies all right which means development is a lifelong process altogether all right now let us see another definition so development refers to the process of positive change and growth that occurs in various aspects of human life societies and economic economies over time right which means that development can be termed as the positive change and growth right that occurs uh, in all aspects of human life being its societies and economies over different time it encompasses or it covers improvements in living standards living standards then quality of life is also a type of development how do we develop the quality of life how do we develop social well-being and economic progress so all this comes under the development the concept of development is multi-dimensional it is not unidirectional all right it is not unidimensional it is multi-dimensional encompassing social economic political and environmental aspect so we can see that an individual develops in all these dimensions right then we have um, here here we have in the context of individual development individually what happens it involves the physical development cognitive development emotional development moral development and social growth of a person throughout its lifespan so we can see as individuals that whenever we are developing we develop in all spheres of life right be it uh, mental development be it the psychomotor development be it physical development emotional development social development all right so these includes acquiring knowledge skills and abilities as well as forming relationships adapting to challenges and realizing one's full potential right so this development includes the acquisition of knowledge skills and abilities right as well as forming relationships with the environment with the people around us all right and how do we adapt to the different environmental conditions and how do we how as individuals we interact with the people in our environment all right then next slice let's see what do we have so next we have uh, again they are discussing de development only so development is a broader concept 
all right so it is not a narrow one it is a very broad concept yes so it encompasses both growth and maturation so growth and maturation are two different terms and development in itself consists of both the growth and development as well as other changes that occur in an so just we as we have seen in a previous slide that uh, individuals physical development cognitive development emotional development and social domains over time so development takes place in all these spheres of life right so it includes not only the changes in physical size remember this that uh, development does not only means changes in its physical aspect but also changes in how are we developing through knowledge then how do we develop through skills behaviors emotions and social interaction with our environment and the people in it then uh, next we have development is a complex multifaceted and lifelong process so as i have mentioned that development is a lifelong process as it goes from womb to tomb right and it is influenced by various factors so development is affected by various factors like the genetic factors environmental factors cultural factors all right and the experiences an individual have and the behavior and characteristic of the individual so it can be broadly categorized into two domains so two types that is including physical cognitive emotional social and moral development which are interconnected and influence each other so here what they are trying to say is that uh, development does not only mean physical or cognitive all these domains of development that is be it physical or cognitive or emotional or social or moral they are interdependent all right they are interdependent so this we have to understand very clearly so now let us see the next slide what we have so here development uh, what what they say development is a concept all right it's a concept it's an idea that has been explored and defined by various educationists and scholars all right so different scholars different philosophers different educationists they have given the concept of development here are the definitions given by these educationists so first of all we have here jean piaget jean piaget so friends please 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 remember this name this educationist is a very famous one so you need to remember his name right then we have leo vygotsky so he is also another very important educationist which we as uh, teachers should remember then we have eric erickson so we will study about what he said then we have lawrence kohlberg then at the end we have howard gardner so these are the various educationists who have defined development in their own terms right which we shall see in the next slide so see uh, friends in order to help you get a better picture of the educationists what i have done is that i have used the image of the educationists all right so here since this is about jean piaget what he said about development i have given his picture in this slide all right so jean piaget so piaget was a renowned swiss psychologist and developmental theorist theo theorist yes so who is jean piaget he was a Swiss psychologist, right, and theorist. So, according to Jean Piaget, what happens is that development is a process of constructing knowledge and understanding through cognitive processes. So, what he said that constructing knowledge and understanding through cognitive processes is known as development. He emphasized the importance of interaction with the environment in promoting cognitive growth and progression through distinct stages of development so he gave importance to the environment right interaction with environment so he emphasized more on how do we interact with the environment in promoting what our cognitive or mental growth and the progression how do we progress through distinct stages of development so this is what jean piaget has to say about development then next let us see yes 
Leo Vygotsky. So he is a very, very, very famous and very important educationist. So what he has to say? So Vygotsky, a Russian psychologist. So he is a Russian, Russian psychologist and educational theorist. Theorist, yes. So viewed, he viewed development as a socio-cultural process. So friends, please remember this term. When see, whenever in exam also you see culture or socio-cultural term be alert that this particular word is talking about Vygotsky right so in exam you'll be getting MCQ of different types so there you will see this term who coined like like who used uh, socio-cultural word to define development then you have to uh, name or you have to select the name of the educationist that is Vygotsky so Vygotsky emphasized the role of social interaction, cultural tools and language in shaping cognitive development. So what he said is that in order to shape the cognitive development, what do we have to do is that we have to interact or this involves the interaction of society, culture and language of the individual and his environment. All right. So Vygotsky's theory highlighted the significance of what of social and cultural context in facilitating learning and development so you should remember that Vygotsky theory highlighted what the significance of what the importance of social and cultural context in facilitating learning and development so in order to facilitate the process of learning and development there has to be uh, what uh, culture social and cultural interaction all right so now let us see the next slide. All right. So Eric Erickson, you can see here Eric Erickson. Eric Erickson is a German American psychologist who proposed a psychosocial theory of development. All right. Psychosocial. So remember this term. You have to remember this term. Now what happens? He emphasized the importance of psychosocial crisis or challenges that individual face at different stages of life. According to Erickson, what happens? Successful resolution of these crises or these shortcomings contributes to the development of a strong sense of identity and attainment of psychological well-being. So he, I mean psychosocial well-being. So he more or less, less talks about the psychosocial aspect of development. All right. Then let us see the next one. What do we have? All right, we have here Lawrence Kohlberg. So, Kohlberg is an American psychologist. American psychologist developed a theory of moral development. See, friends, this is very, very, very important. Please mark this word. This moral development is given by Lawrence Kohlberg. If you don't remember Lawrence, just remember Kohlberg, all right? So, he argued that moral reasoning progress through six stages. So he said that there are six stages in which moral reasoning progress with each stage reflecting more advanced, more moral thinking. With each stage, he said that more advanced moral thinking takes place. Now, Kohlberg's theory emphasizes the role of reasoning, reasoning, values and social interactions in the development of moral judgment and ethical behavior. So what he says is that the role of reasoning, then values and social interaction in the development of moral judgment and ethical behavior, right? So this is what he has to say. So he he gives more importance to the moral development of the individual. And he said how many, uh, how many stages are there? So remember, he said that there are six stages, right, in development. Now, let us see another scientist. This this is Howard Gardner. So Howard Gardner is an American psychologist, all right, an educator. Proposed the theory of multiple intelligence. So his theory is very interesting, one friends, right? His theory is very interesting. So I think we will learn his theory in detail. So his theory is I personally like his theory very much. It's very interesting. So according to Gardner, development involves the cultivation and expression of different forms of intelligence, including 
so he said that development in encompasses or includes various intelligence of the individual like linguistic logical mathematical musical spatial bodily kinesthetic interpersonal intrapersonal and naturalistic intelligence so gardner's theory broadens the traditional understanding of intelligence and highlights the diverse ways individual can excel and develop their potential so he does not focus on one area right so what he says is that development may include different intelligence see some of us may be intelligent in logical mathematical some may be good in music some may be good in uh, intrapersonal skills and some might be good in interpersonal skills right so we have different intelligence right for example some of us are good at playing cricket or football and some of us are playing uh, good at uh, music some of us are good at studies right so different different uh, intelligence all together combine so uh, this is where it leads to development of an individual according to howard gardner right so so here are certain examples all right so here are certain examples of development so let us see one by one so first of all a child developing language skills starting with cooing and babbling as an infant and progressing to speaking in full sentence as a toddler see when a baby or when a child is born how do he acquire language see uh, what do they say they they, they they just make different sounds right like cooing sounds and later as they are like a as they grow uh, they start babbling this this way they speak right and later as they progress they starts using one one sentence one one words right like mummy papa not mummy papa exactly ma pa like that but they say right so this way they start learning and later what happens they uses full sentences or the they make the correct pronunciation of a word like mummy or papa and then they combine it together and as a result they speak a sentence right so this is development now another example is a person acquiring new knowledge and skills through formal education such as learning to read write or solve mathematical problems so how do we develop here see this is uh, the best example for this is school right so when we go to school what do we do we acquire new skills right through formal education so first of all we learn to sing right rhymes then a b c d then uh, we we first of all we hear we listen to what the teachers are saying right then we imitate or we read along with the teacher then we start writing and consequently what do we do we start solving mathematical problems as we progress with our age and classes right so the third one the third example we have uh, the third example we have is the emotional development of a teenager including the ability to recognize and regulate emotions develop empathy and and establish identity so see adolescence or the teenager teen age is known as the period of stress and storm right period of stress and storm during this period the adolescents they have rapid changes in their physical mental and social development right so here the teenagers are very emotional they so here this is the period in which they are developing their uh, emotional uh, what to say they are developing their emotional skills how to be uh, what to say emotionally matured so they are maturing right slowly they are maturing emotionally physically mentally they know how to empathize with the people around them and they establish their own identity that i am so and so i have so and so etiquettes i have so and so um, behavior personality so this way what do they do they identify themselves as an individual right during this phase of development 
now let us see the next one so next one we have the social development of a child including learning social norms developing friendships and acquiring social skills such as sharing and taking turns right so see this uh, a child develops socially in school as well as in the family right so uh, they learn how to socialize all right they learn how to socialize with their peers with their family members with their teachers and with people in and around them right so here the children they learn different etiquettes right they learn how to share with their friends how to share especially the children they share the tiffin right tiffin a water bottle they share with their friends if they have two sweets they will share it with the other friend so uh, they know how they learn this is the phase of development in which a child learn to socialize all right this they acquire social skills so he the child becomes very popular in this uh phase of development because uh, the, because everything is happening for the first time for them right they are learning how to socialize and you know what when the children come to school they uh they excel they excel in these type of social skills as the teachers and teachers yes teachers and friends they help them to be more friendly they help them to be more caring and sharing right so sharing is caring right so this is how this is what the children these days they say right so let us see another example another example will be the moral development of an individual progressing from simple black and white moral reasoning in childhood to more complex and nuanced moral reasoning in adulthood influenced by experiences values and cultural norms so here what happens see as an individual or as human beings what we have to do is that we have to live by certain morals right so we should have moral values as individuals as teachers as humans right so how do we have moral values see uh, as we experience from childhood to whatever the age we have like we are in today see we have different values right see when we are young when we were child we do not know certain things like we didn't know that to steal someone's pencil or pen or eraser is a something bad against the moral of human beings right we did not know that quarreling or fighting with the people with the friends or with neighbors is not uh, is what to say is against the moral of the human right so we have certain values we have certain rules we have certain cultural standards by which we as human individuals live right so we know how to respect see respect is a moral value we should know how to respect the teachers we should know how to respect our friends we should know how to respect our parents our siblings then we should be always grateful you know we should be grateful to god we should be grateful to our parents to our teachers to the people around us then uh, we should be what to say uh, we should we should be the individuals who uplifts others all right uplifts others then we should be uh, what to say uh, we should be thoughtful we should be caring we should we should love our friends we should care for them right we should not fight with them so these are certain moral values which we as individuals should have right then let us see what do we have in the next slide all right so see friends uh, i don't want the video to be too long so i think this is already 20 minutes so uh, here what i will do is that see uh, as i have mentioned here wait let me go to the first slide mm. i'll show you yes see understanding development so it has got four sub units right so just now we have completed we have successfully completed this unit concept of development all right then uh, this three remaining three will be uh, continuing in our next videos all right next video so here let me see development as a continuous process i think it is given so 
yes development as a continuous process so this will be uh, this uh, second subunit B that is development is a continuous and a lifelong process we shall discuss in the next video so here we have successfully completed our first units first sub topic all right concept of development so thank you everyone for being here thank you